What's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. And again, today we are in some disarray up here in the office. <laughs> they, oh my gosh, this view right here just looks like crazy. It is a crazy day. It's already one o'clock. We've had a busy day. Um, Kathy's getting her labels printed up, but yes, we, uh, <laughs> I don't know. This week has been one of those weeks. Can, I'm sure. But it's been nice to like be at home. With yeah, you. yeah, it's yeah. Just, I'm, yeah. I, this isn't a complaint, right? Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> when you work for yourself, way. this is you know you go through these ebbs and flows, good times, bad times. This is just a very dirty time. We're having a <laughs> we're having a very hard time catching up with all the work, which is okay. We're dealing with it, but it definitely adds to the stress a little bit. Um, but yeah, as you can see. This is Kathy's Ben's Hall up here, and we actually are going to be shooting another video right after this with our collaboration. Yes, yeah, so I did with Rebecca. With basically, recording two halls today. We already yeah. met with Rebecca um, yep. today, like on Zoom. And other than that, just print labels, we had to get some groceries, just normal stuff that just yeah. takes up time. So. Yep, and it is Friday, which means the kids are home tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I already have listings, like, photographed and everything to put up today. Mm -hmm. But I want, like, the whole thing is we were trying to not have to, like, do any work on Saturdays and Sundays. Like, I don't mind doing, like, shipping or whatever. Right, right. But we just haven't got that draft bank built yeah. up. So if I want to list this weekend, I will have to do 15 a day. It doesn't honestly take that long to get the 15 photographed and listed, but... Mm -hmm. It's if you just, sit down and buckle, yeah. you know, buckle down and do it, it's it's easy yeah. to get very distracted, you know. Yeah, I just don't like doing it like when the kids are home because I want, yeah. especially on the weekends, that's our spend time. Yep. So it, it usually gets done then in the evenings at like 10 p.m. and then I'm tired. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's where we're at today. <laughs> so let me just say, here's Reese, and I wish you want to trade spots. Can you hold the camera? Oh, I don't have anything, buddy. We'll get you something. <laughs> I love you. We need to just keep some treats up here for him, huh? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. We didn't bring any. We're bad. We're bad. <laughs> Here's good. But yeah, that's the state of the shop right now. Like I said, it's about one o'clock now. So we're going to, um, I don't know really what we're gonna do. <laughs> we gotta get some way to, to pull our sails here so that we can get them shipped off. We're gonna figure something out up here, get a little bit more organized, and then we'll come back and check back in with you guys. And pull. And pull what's, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think we've had too many sales today, which I is kind of, kind of, More than I yeah. thought it was actually, so. Okay. Yeah, we were thinking we didn't have very many sales, but... I mean, I don't think it's even quite 10, but it's more than like three. You know okay. What I mean? so, yeah, yeah. Not a bad day. So, more than three, <laughs> less than 10. <laughs> As of right now. That's the information I gathered from that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get this stuff a little bit more organized, and then we'll check back in. Just wanted to show you guys that, you know... It doesn't it, always it's not always, thing. yeah, it's not always the perfect organized office. And I know we just shared something like this a couple days ago. Um, and yeah, I feel like we're still playing catch up to that. <laughs> so just wanted to let you guys know and we'll check back in a little bit later. All right, guys, we're back. It is going on 3, 315. And yeah, we got everything under control, <laughs> believe it or not. Hey, um, you shoved it all in different bags. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. we, we bagged a bunch of shoes. Yeah, we got the we shoes actually, put away. Yeah, there was probably 30 pairs of shoes. Most are put away. Yeah. Probably like a few didn't fit, right? We need to. Yeah. Oh, Our inventory is, yeah, yeah. This is what's left of the shoes. But that was overflowing when we started. So we fit as many as we could in yeah. the boxes. Won't be able to fit more by tomorrow. There were some clothes here that we measured and added to the bags that so need to be most of my listings for today. Bagged up, yeah. right? So those two bags need to be bagged and put into mm -hmm. inventory. Though those are listed, though, right? Uh, no. Or will be listed. Yeah, today. And then we filmed our collab video. Yep. yep. Um, and then those twenty items for that have been typed into our inventory. Um, yeah. Put you know, a lot of them are already ready to list, and so they're gonna get listed soon. And then some of them just yeah. need wash, so I threw those down to the laundry. Um, yeah, and then so that stuff over that, there that's is our second haul, which we haven't had a chance to record yet. Right, the remainder of Kathy's Ben haul. Yeah, and my listings for next week. So. Yeah. 
so lots of progress today or that was just in the last i don't know two hours or so yeah. hour and a half and so got quite a bit bad. done watched the trash to cash podcast while working featuring kayla the homeschooling <laughs> picker good friend of ours love those guys over there they're all they're all hilarious and they are really we funny. can't even yeah it's, sometimes it's hard to focus because they're yeah. <laughs> they're so funny <laughs> the antics that go on but anyway we're gonna pull what's sold yeah and get them out by of here. the way we said between three and ten the number is eight we have eight oh. sales going out today so all right uh, first i did want to thank renee who bought us three coffee she said i'm amazed by your generosity and transparency while helping others, thank you so much. I look forward to watching you each day. So thank you so much, Renee. Thank you, Renee. We appreciate that support yeah. very much. Okay. Let me Let's get, get picking. BR. Let's okay. over on that end. This is a pair of kids' new, new, new pants. Um, these are new at Tag. I bought them for my son, but never ended up wearing them. Uh, I did buy them off the real real when they sent me a coupon way back when, but what I paid out of pocket was $18.79. That was including tax shipping and everything like that. I sold them on Mercari for $37 plus shipping, so still about a $13 profit, even though I originally bought them thinking my son would wear and he didn't. So here, let me grab good. let me yeah. grab them for you. Which uh, this one here? Yes, I know. I'll take for this specifically, maybe like. Um, these? We're using our bunny rabbit ones to learn for bunny rabbits. I don't know. Yeah, let's just do that for now. <laughs> All right, yeah, the woodlands. Those are cute for kid stuff. Yeah. Okay, so box M, another kid item. So eight sales, probably half of them are just selling Our own off. kid stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and we do, sell our, we do sell our kid stuff just to uh, basically get our money back yeah. or our I personal kids items. Them. Yeah. Yeah, those boxes are full. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Vineyard Vines boy shirt. I don't remember where I bought this one, but I accepted a $12 offer on Poshmark for it. The offer came in like late last night. Well, not super late. Kind of like yesterday at around this time, I feel like. And I just, I was like not going to accept it because they usually sell around 20 Yeah. Um, but then I thought, like, I was just... I forgot that the offer came in because I was like, I'm going to think about it. And then I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so today when it reminded me it was about to expire, I was like, yeah, I'll just accept because this person offered 12, but they're also paying post shipping tax and everything. So they're in over $20. Yeah. I'm making 905 back. I probably spent around 15 for the shirt to begin with. And we did wear it. I think both my kids have worn that. So that is still making $9 back on a kid shirt. It's pretty good to me. So let's posh. We'll ship out in a Tyvek mailer. All right, box V for Victor. Oop, backing in the tables already. Uh, let me see it right here. I just listed this a couple days ago. It's a Prana women's tank top. I bought this up in Castle Rock last week for $2.50. It was on clearance all the way down to $2.50. Uh, retail arbitrage, and I sold it for $24 with discount shipping on Posh. So. Sweet. Super. Sale, yeah. easy money. And if you're unfamiliar with retail arbitrage, that's just where you buy stuff brand new, a tag at yeah. a retail store. And you know, since it was on clearance down at what 250 you said, yeah, there's still room for profit if you try to sell it online sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it always works out, but yeah, definitely run your comps if you're doing that kind of thing um, before you make that purchase. Oh, I forgot a couple of our sales today are probably in these two bags that we oh. haven't, like, newly listed, haven't got put away yet. So that's one of them. Let's pull the ones that are not in yeah. there now. And we're going to go to box AU. So I sold this kid's REI snow bib. Glad to sell this at this time of year. Um, this actually came in Hope's box from Rex to Riches. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Rex to Riches Resale so, on YouTube. Um, yeah. We sold one of her items last week. I had bought a mystery kids box from her. So this is the second item to sell from that. The way I put it in my inventory was just going to not type in a price until I was profitable on the box. So this puts me pretty close to profitable. I think I need to make about 12 more dollars. So the next item that sells will put me in the green. And then anything above that is profit. And I'll probably... Mm -hmm. 
at least have 10 more items that will sell at some point so right. from that so it it's a good box so yeah thank you hope, thank you, hope. <laughs> all right br and the reason why Kathy kind of stumbles on that name is because rag, Rags to Riches <laughs> is close to Rags to Ratches, right? Which is a clothing backwards. brand that Kathy always looks out for. Yeah. All right. I sold these Croc sandals for $29.95 plus ship on eBay. They cost me $7.99 at Goodwill, so not bad. Those are under a pound. Just going to ship out in a mailer. Okay. Well, I think we forgot there. how how we're gonna bag that. All right, um, that actually was under a pound, even though it's kind of large. Well, I'm gonna just do a larger mailer on that one. Pretty floral. Yeah. All right, so those are the two we need to dig in the bags for, and then oh, this two, all three of these. Oh right. <laughs> well, that's three things. Plus we have to bag. I mean, we have to bag them right now, but. So I'll probably do a little bit of a montage just to uh, <laughs> see how much work we have to do to dig this out, but we'll let Kathy find them real quick. Torrid, Wrangler, and A6. What are these? <laughs> yeah, we uh, have been behind on getting things bagged up. Uh, yeah, everything, really. And that's kind of the price we pay when we're not caught up on everything, unfortunately. Um, the good news is, is we knew the general area, so, you know, that only took a couple minutes, but... But now everything's a mess. Now everything's mm -hmm. a mess, yeah. Okay. So the red pants sold to our viewers, Zach. They are the brand A6. They're just like a nice, these are actually really nice. They have like that super stretch material. I bought these also in Castle Rock last week for 12 and sold them to Zach for 34 plus shipping. So thank you, Zach. Awesome. Zach, thank you so much for the continued support. We yeah. appreciate it all. Those will just go out in the mailer. Yeah, and we'll go ahead and, and bag it all up and, yeah. and uh, get it looking nice like all the other stuff. Oops. Ugh. <laughs> um, Torrid was this one. Good to know stuff is selling fast, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so these three items pretty much sold overnight. Um, yeah, all three of these were listed yesterday, I think. So. Very nice. This is a uh, Torrid Disney Aristocats. Any Torrid Disney does really well. I thought this would take longer. It's a size zero, which is like a women's large. Mm. So usually in Torrid, the higher the number, the in my experience, quicker it would sell, but Disney, anything, right. or it seems to sell really fast. So Add Disney to the mix. <laughs> yeah. uh, this one I paid four seventy nine for at Goodwill, sold it for twenty four ninety five plus ship same day. So nice. Yeah, let's do a piece of love mailer. And this one was a cool sale, also sold in a day. This one I've I bought it like a month or two ago, but I had it in our laundry. Finally got it washed and listed and it sold in the same day. So I paid $7.99, sold it on Facebook Marketplace for $35.10 plus shipping. So Bolo, Wrangler Pro Snaps specifically. This one I believe was vintage and also just a cool Southwestern yeah, pattern. So that is a cool pattern. I knew that would do well. I figured at least 30 bucks and I listed it higher at 40 and then we had a sale running on Facebook. So $35.10. Yeah. Uh, that will also just go out in a mailer. So, everything's easy shipping today, no yeah, boxes. no boxes. Hey! Which is cool, but also sad because the shoes are what's taking up most of the space yeah. in the boxes, so. Um. Yeah, I wish we had more space up here to have, I like the racks for shoe storage. But then it's like, obviously when I say shoe shelf, I know it's here, but then what do we do for? Right, for so what I would do in that case is, um, instead of doing like M for a box, I would do M for a shelf and then like N O. So I would do it that way. Like maybe shoe shelf, <laughs> do a different letter or maybe a number or SS, SSA, SSB. And then that represents that shelf rather than the whole rack. Yeah. That makes sense. And then, you know, we'd have like something <laughs> defining that like yeah. on the rack itself. And that's just what I would do in that case. So if we ever get a bigger space. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to stop selling shoes probably. So, right. yeah, if we ever move spaces, that'll probably be how it'll be. At least for the shoes, I probably won't stop selling. Clothes, yeah. But. Yeah, I'd like to get 10 more of these racks so that yeah. we can have that much. If we had the space for it, I'd yeah. do it in a heartbeat. It was nice, though, because these were free. At least two of them yeah. were free. One I got for five bucks at a garage sale. Um, yeah, we did get a question <laughs> recently of where we got these, and we got them all secondhand. I mean, I'm sure they have them on Amazon, but they're probably, I imagine, like 50 bucks each at least. Right. So. Yeah, we scored. Yeah. I don't think, I, I don't know if I'd pay 50. I mean, they're okay, but, like, they're not super sturdy. Well, and, and the two that we have, they, they're supposed to have a back brace because these are very. Which, honestly, I don't like the one that does have the back brace. Because then you can't get it. the shoes don't, like. Fit all the way back. Yeah. So you have to kind of. Yeah, put only small shoes in that area and stuff. Otherwise right, you see the like, X in the back there. Yeah. And honestly, yeah, I guess it is pretty sturdy. It's more sturdy to roll around, but yeah, oh. you lose the, some of the space for the shoes. But yeah. anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know where. I think maybe Wayfair, somebody said at one point. Amazon probably, probably has them. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, probably. But yeah, we're going to get that stuff packed up. And I think we're going to cut the video here because it's time for us to go get the boys from school. I think I'm going to go get in the school line. Kathy will pack this stuff up and then I'll exchange the boys for the packages, take that stuff off to the post office. Um, we don't usually like to do that. We try to drop the stuff off on our way to pick up the school, pick up the kids from school because it's on the way. But we're just short on time today. So um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate all the support today. Thank you very much. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.